Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get ADS kills while strafing in Modern Warfare 3, nice and easy. But quickly before we do get into today's video, if you are new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel when notifications turn on, so you don't miss any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up, and your thoughts on this in the comments below, we'll jump straight into it right now. Okay, guys, so when you're on the camo grind, you will get a couple of challenges, like the priceless for this uh, gun here, for example. As you can see, it's... Get 25 hip fire kills while strafing with the DG580 LSW. So this is actually very easy to do, I'm not going to lie. And a lot of people see this and they're like, it's going to be quite challenging and they start doing the wrong things where actually it's very, very easy. So whether it's hip fire or ADS, obviously doesn't really make too much of a difference. If it's ADS, make sure you're aiming down sights. If it's hip fire, just make sure you're, you're hip firing. It's as simple as that. And there are a couple ways that you can do this, guys. So you can come to a class and there is a certain piece of equipment that we can actually use. I believe it's a pair of boots. Okay, so if we look at the Stalker boots, for example, it says increased strafe and ADS movement speed. So you can put these on and it's going to make you move a bit faster whilst you are strafing. However, this isn't always the best option. If you're someone that struggles with your aim anyway, having this faster movement speed is going to might just throw your aim off a little bit more and make this challenge harder for you. So go ahead, try it out. If you find that your aim is actually worse with these boots on while strafing, then just take them off and put different boots on. And if you find that this helps, then obviously keep running them. So once we're actually loading into a game, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do now and i'll load into a game to show you okay guys so once you are in game i'm just in a private match so there's no bots or anything so what you want to do while strafing strafing basically means left and right it's movement to the left and movement to the right so let's say for example there's an enemy running around there i want to try and be strafing right and keeping my tracking on him the entire time let's say he's playing that head glitch and now i would track left trying to keep that movement onto the head glitch so it's just moving left and right for any of you guys that don't understand what strafing is it is simply just a left or a right movement moving backwards and forwards doesn't work for the strafing ones but it does work for the movement kills so if you get a challenge that says kills while moving you can move forwards backwards right left it doesn't matter what direction you are moving in and then of course for hip fire kills it's exactly the same but you just have to be far hip firing as well so if it's ads kills it's ads while strafing and if it's hip firing it is it's obviously hip fire kills while strafing very easy to understand um so the easiest way of actually doing this guys is like i said Find an area where you know a lot of people are going to be coming through and just keep literally walking around like this left and right And again, if you're hip firing you might have to be a little bit closer obviously for that hip fire to work So you might want to stand on like a head glitch like this for example Because you know people are going to walk through here and just keep strafing left and right And when they walk through you can just hip fire take them out of the game like that And I recommend doing this on hardcore and the reason for this is it's going to take one bullet to kill your opponent And as long as you're moving left or right whilst you hit that one bullet It is going to count and it's going to track towards the challenges and it's going to make it much much easier because like I said If you guys aren't too great at the game and you're struggling a little bit with this challenge moving left and right and then playing on core could throw your aim off a little bit and having that aim thrown off just a tiny little bit could be what loses you the gunfight so if you have it on hardcore it's going to take one to two bullets to take your opponent out making it much much easier to take your opponent out meaning the kill is going to track a lot faster it's going to make this challenge a lot easier for you guys and like i said just make sure you're moving left and right at all times and you guys will have this challenge done nice and easily and again like i said for the hip fire ones it's a case of still moving left and right hip firing taking your opponent out of the game if you are hip firing make sure you've got attachments on your gun like a laser that increases the hip fire xc a stock that increases the hip fire xc a rear grip that increases hip fire xc and all sort of things like that because it's going to make it much much easier and then of course your gun is also going to be a lot more accurate in hip fire as well making this challenge much easier to complete and also remember i did say to play on hardcore because once again it is going to make it much easier because it's going to take one or two bullets to take your opponent out of the game so if you miss a couple of bullets while hip firing it doesn't matter too much because you still should be able to take your opponent out of the game pretty quickly with no problem whatsoever so hopefully this video is going to help some of you guys out and if it does be sure to smash a big thumbs up as it helps me out more than you can imagine and again if you've got any more questions on this and you're struggling and you want a little bit more detail please ask away in the, in the comments and i will do my very very best to answer you guys as fast as i possibly can and if you're not already subscribed to the channel notifications turn on please make sure you do go ahead and do that as it helps me when you can imagine but i appreciate what you did have a great day and i'll catch you in the next one in a bit Woo.